Welcome back again folks, this is Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. Today for sale, we've got something lovely and special. A 2005 Water Trail Cheyenne 635 SE. She's on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, 2.7 turbo diesel, automatic. You can't tick many more boxes than that. She's got the mid L-shaped lounge, a large two-bird double bed above the cab. Let's have a walk around. So yeah, it's only had two owners from new. The first owner bought it brand new and had it for 11 years. And the last guy has had it for four years. Uh, so on the passenger side, you've got an outside area here to store. Inside under this cupboard, you've got the leisure battery and more storage. Incidentally, it's just been checked out and everything works as it should do. All the leisure items, the heating, all the lights, it all checks out. Got an extra nice handle there for the side, and we've got the electric step. Outside barbecue, it's a nice feature. Outside barbecue gas point, so just coming around the back. Now she's lovely all round, she really is. 15 years young, just looking in the rear. So in this compartment we've got I think the spare wheel and the last owner's left you a few accessories. So you've got leveling ramps, uh, extra ramps there, you've got a spare wheel nicely covered up and that would uh, assume that's a sheeting for the bottom of the awning. Just coming now around to the driver's side, so we've got a little mini garage area. Accessories. Ah, that's your silver blackout blinds so the front's all included, composed, funnel there, all included in the sale. We've got an extra, oh, good left, some blue chemicals, cassette toilet. Comes for nothing this. What have we got under here? A bit tight. Oh, we've got an outside hot and cold shower so if you wanted a shower outside or you're coming back from the beach to wash those wellies off or a, a, a dog outside shower point we've got the fresh water supply another outside storage area again the last owner's left you a few accessories you've got the mains hookup cable a few bits and bobs there uh, this is your winter cover for the truma for heating the hot water on gas that's the cover for the flue Got the mains hook up. I've just opened this. So you've got the two gas bottles all ready. Now, a typical bomb proof build quality Mercedes Sprinter. I'll just pull the bonnet. Both seats are suspension. You know, this is a spring suspension. So you'll eat the miles up with that on the road, no problem. Two sets of keys, two remote controls for the alarm. It literally wants for nothing. And there you have it. That's the one to have. 2.7 turbo diesel. The 2.2 in the Sprint is not really underpowered, but this is really on top of the job. Apparently had the new uh, battery fitted, high power battery fitted last year. So yeah, it was serviced last year, so I'll just get a service carried out for delivery of collection and then she's ready for the next owner it's got the large side awning and everything operates as it should do okay i'll take over the camera and uh, i'll take you inside so yes walking inside that was good timing the heavens are just about to it's getting out in the rain it's just about to start raining so there we are so you've got the middle mini L-shaped lounge area. So I'll just come forward to the cab. As you can clearly see there, it's got a passenger swivel seat. It's just lovely condition all over. Just two drivers from brand new, 32,000 miles, automatic, power steering, all electric windows and central locking, etc. So let's so here we go so here's the 
the mid lounge area. So yeah, it's got the L-shaped configuration there. So we've actually got two forward facing three point seat belts there. Um, in this configuration, clearly one person can sit at the back forward facing with the three point seat belt. You've got a centre section here, so this clips out, there's a couple of clips in there, that'll clip out, this will remove. So then you could have two rear passengers forward facing with three point seat belts. So four passengers could travel in style, no problem whatsoever. Or if there's only two or three of you, most people leave it like this all the time for ease. And then you've got the large L-shaped side sofa. But yeah, just the condition, it's just, it's beautiful. Well, the first owner had it for, I think he bought it new in 2005. Yeah, he had it for 11 years. And the last owner has had it for four or five years. So we've got the small swivel out table. We've also got a large freestanding table that can go there or with it being freestanding obviously you can take it outside for alfresco dining i'll show you where that is shortly that's tucked up in the wardrobe um so these of course convert out this slides out here and makes into a very very large queen size bed in fact i think it's just over seven foot would you believe from width to width and the longest distance here would be six foot just over six foot actually so seven foot by six uh, nice little feature by Auto Trail. Both of these panels, that panel there and that panel, they fold out. A little wooden top, and then you've got a little side mini table or a tea table at the side. So both of those, I'll do those on the pictures. They'll flop out into place and create two little side tables. All the carpets nice. There's some over mats over the carpets. Yeah, it's clearly been looked after. So stepping inside to the kitchen area, so you've got three burner gas hobs plus the mains 240 electric hob, all spotless. Grill area, oven, under oven storage, all the cupboards, everything just works as it should do, absolutely beautiful. cold water of course that can be hot on the if you're wild camping on gas or on the electric everything's been tested and found to be working it's got these lovely feature up lighters look at those fluorescent lights at the top lots of reading lights those two lights by the way are only mains so you'll only get them on if you're on mains hook up uh, of course you've got the large double bed above the cab that again is seven foot wide by just over four foot. So you could actually get two adults up there. No problem whatsoever. Some extra filling cushions. I'll do some photographs shortly of that. And of course the steps to get up. More reading lights upstairs. All the cupboards, everything's just beautiful. It will stand up for fussy inspection. Uh, it's actually got a, a reversing camera, so this will come out. I'm not sure whether the DVD works, um, but it's a reversing camera, so you can pull this down. And I found the button in here. There we go. Reversing camera, so you just push that. Now, someone has gone to the trouble of adding a lot of extras here. This looks like, well, it's a Humax DVD, is it? No, 3SAT. So whether there's a satellite dish upstairs or whether it picks up the signal, I'll have a look. You've got the 12 volt booster for the aerial switch over from the DVD to the TV area that's your charging panel for the 12 volts it's absolutely bone dry there's no issues whatsoever I think cosmetically inside just being super fussy yeah just above the fire uh, incidentally this is gas so you've got gas on that side electric on that side so you can if you're wild camping you've got gas if you're plugged in you've got the electric just a little bit of crinkling here just a little bit on that that's all up above the worktop as you can see there 
Another socket there for a TV power point. An aerial. Well, look at that. Wow. What a lovely little drinks cabinet. Above the leisure door, you've got the control panel to heat the hot water on gas, if you wished. And you've got the ultra heat to put the hot water on electric, if you wish. Control panel. Uh, you've got the large roof light area, so you've got a fly blind, blackout blind, and that's uh, holding up nicely on the gas shock absorbers. There you go, no problem whatsoever. So going around to the roof of the kitchen area, you've got an extractor fan here. Nice feature in the kitchen area. An extra cupboard there, or you could put a swing out TV there. More lighting, cupboards above the cooker area. Uh, two rear speakers. So there's roof mounted speakers there. I assume they work off the front dashboard. And here we have the nice, lovely, well, it's luxury rear. Can you hear the rain? The rear toilet area. We've got the Thetford cassette swivel, that's been sanitised. Lovely sink area, cupboards, toilet holder, lots of cupboards, there's the light switch for the bathroom area, uh, mirror here, again more cupboard space, so a large mirror above the sink, And then spanning around, and we've got the large shower. So that uh, shower cover will come back here and form a complete wet room. You've got the hot and cold shower. Just spun the camera down. No issues or cracks there. That's fine as it should be. So we've got the the wardrobe on this can be accessed on either side of the rear bathroom. So we can access the wardrobe from here. There's the clothes rail. Lots of nice little uh, drawers for all your knickknacks. These are for the central heating when you've got the heating on, nice and toasty. Or you can gain access from here. And there in its place is the large three standing table. And there's the uh, awning wind out Oh, you've even got a little uh, ironing board. Has it got a light in there? Yes. More space underneath, more drawers. Ah, you've got a cutlery drawer there. Um, just a nice storage area below there. Above the fridge. Oh, our stoner's left you some uh, plates and bowls. And we've got the three-way fridge so you can see there it's working on mains because I've just plugged it in you've got the gas feature and you've got the 12 volts when driving all nice and clean large freezer compartment yep that's freezing up nicely I can confirm that no problem whatsoever so yes all in all a very nice 2005 Auto Trail Cheyenne 2.7 automatic she wants for nothing other than the next owner so i'll just uh, do a small recap on the outside so you've got the concertina effect blinds to all the windows We'll just brave the rain. So there we have it. A 2005 Auto Trail Cheyenne 635 SE. It's on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis 2.7 turbo diesel automatic. Just two owners from brand new. Full service history. 
think the last service was last year so i'll have it serviced again before delivery of collection yeah i'll be happy to drive this and deliver it anywhere in the united kingdom myself and just get the train back i know the new owner will be delighted so my name is anthony valentine the camper nerd you can get me on 0798 526 1078 and i'll be happy to answer any questions Thanks for watching, folks.